Well, I got to propose an idea here to distant cousin Bill uh, about uh, since the old wifey blew all the loot she was supposed to make good on by winning the presidency because she didn't listen to you. And honestly, Hillary would have won if she listened to Bill Clinton as a campaign manager, but no, 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 no. Anyway, yeah, she knows best, so she blew all that money. She's history. She's done. Now, what's going to happen after Clinton Foundation? Now, I want to propose an idea here because, you know, one of the things that Bill likes best is interns and women. Why not capitalize on the intern reputation that Bill Clinton has, right? How about the Bill Clinton intern eatery and restaurant chain? That would be pretty cool. It, it, maybe a com competition with other restaurant chains so that are pretty fam uh, famous that can be uh, utilized and capitalized, except, you know, Bill Clinton's got the big name out there, and it would be a lot of fun, to tell you the truth. The Bill Clinton Intern Eatery restaurant chain. So uh, that could be a big competition to some of the uh, other restaurant chains out there and some of the more famous ones like Hooters. Hooters, right? Who would you rather go to, Hooters or the Bill Clinton Intern Eatery? Eh, I'd go to Bill Clinton Eatery, Intern Eatery any day. So uh, that might be an idea. And I think that, uh, you know, he's, Bill's going to have to do something because, you know, they're going to they're gonna suck the Bill Clinton the foundation, the Bill Clinton. The Clinton Global Initiative Foundation dry. You know they are right now. Because she didn't make good on the money. She was supposed to deliver on the goods, and she didn't deliver, and blah, blah, blah. And I tell you the truth, uh, you know, let me tell you this. Honestly, yeah, I revolt Republican. I'm a very registered Republican. So when I'm kind of pitching for Bill here, it's right out of the heart, you know. Honestly, Bill Clinton, you know, he's not the kingpin. And even all that stuff that was going on in Arkansas and Minnesota and all that type of stuff, George, Herbert George Herbert Walker Bush was controlling that. He was controlling Reagan, and Clinton was working for them. I think Reagan and Clinton was both worked for, you know, Mr. CIA George Herbert Walker Bush. So, you know, one of the things he could probably do is just, just get the hell out of politics all the way. But he likes being around people. He likes being around women. And what the hell's one? Of, what's a good thing to do? I mean, really, what about a restaurant chain like? that would compete with Hooters and, you know, the Bill Clinton intern uh, eatery. You know, that would be pretty wild. I think that goes right along with his uh, appetite and everything else. And, uh, you know, he's got to really, he's going to have to change. He's going to have to change something. But, you know, you got to have something where you're st he's still going to be out in the public because he's, he's not the type of guy that wants to be a hermit. I can tell you that right now. He likes, enjoys being with people, and I think he's going to find this to be a pretty presentable idea. She's the one that wants to be a hermit. She's the one that doesn't like the people. This guy, he likes people. I mean, you know, I know I know all about it. I actually, I know all about the Clinton scandals way before many of my audience was born. You know, you don't have to tell me about that. I know about it. You know, people weren't listening to me back then. Well, the deal's over with Trump's the president. And I, I don't think anything's going to happen with Bill. I think maybe with her, possibly. Probably, I think, with her because uh, she's just made too many enemies out there. But one thing, he's got to unload her because she can't get involved in this, this, you know, the Bill Clinton intern eatery restaurant chain because she'll screw it up, just like she screwed up the presidential election because she didn't listen to him. And he's got to get rid of that. But what he could do is he could take her main squeeze. That's what I think, Uma Aberdeen. You know, the only thing with her dye her hair either blonde or like uh, you know some kind of auburn red and take her to an exorcist and get all that Muslim Brotherhood shit out of her and she'd probably be alright because she looks like a pretty good hot package to me and uh, you know aside from a couple little defects you can you can work with it you know you can work with it so I think you know she's gonna need another Clinton to take care of her butt and she might escape the jail because she's gonna say I didn't know anything about it I was too busy with Hillary attending to all her needs, you know. She didn't know anything. So, you know, that's my idea on this deal because just life goes on. That's really what happens. The Clinton Foundation is going to go away. All the political donors are going to get pissed off, you know, due to her. <laughs> she screwed it up. And she did. I mean, you know, I mean, I wouldn't have voted for her and no matter what because I, I already know about the Clintons, you know. I mean, I'm beating a... I mean, I've been, I was saying this, but, you know, I also know about Reagan, Ronnie Reagan wasn't a big doodad conservative he played up to be in his speeches. And we'll see what Trump actually is for real. I don't know what he is. 
I wasn't going to vote for her, no way in hell. Uh, but she's not likable, and, you know, people can get fooled. I don't understand how even people any vote, but he voted for her. But he's likable. He's likable. He's got charisma. He does. He's, he's a, you know, and I, when you get down on a one-to-one -one basis with the guys, he's cool. He, she don't like she don't like being around nobody. The deal is, like, I think he's got to find something else. And, yeah, it'd be cool if he can get into Hooters. Fine. He Say he was a Hooters, you know, trainee. Fine. He was training all the Hooters girls. Fine. That'd be great. But, you know, he can capitalize on his intern reputation, his, you know, his womanizing reputation, and his household name, Bill Clinton. So I think the Bill Clinton, Bill Clinton intern eatery restaurant chain would be perfect for him. So, you know, he can have he can have his cake and eat it, too. That's the way I look at it. And, uh, you know, when she goes bye-bye, I mean, Uma's going to look for some companionship. So we just got to watch, you know, change that hair color, get her more with the blonde or the red. And uh, take her to the exorcist and get her get her the Muslim Brotherhood crap out of her. Make sure it's all, you know, purged out of her all the way. You know, whatever you got to do. I mean, I don't know, 20,000 volts. I don't know. Maybe something like that. Get the crap out of her. But she's a pretty nice looking squeeze if, you know, you change that hair color. Uh, and you change that brain a little bit, too. She'd be all right. So might as well just take over not only, you know, where the old lady freaking screwed up, take everything, you know, that's what I look at it, so, just my idea on this, because I know, I know what Bill Clinton really likes with women, you know, it goes along with the restaurant theme, he likes interns and everything else, and, um, he's got that charismatic personality, because if he's actually running this restaurant chain, hey, he'd be right in there, he'd be right in there at the thick of the things, uh, you know, you know, stirring up the soup, so, I think the guy would be doing okay so I don't you know he don't piss me off I mean I, he used to piss me off when he's president to tell you the truth because I know he, there was stuff that was going on but he wasn't all bad as president to tell you the truth he really wasn't all bad he really wasn't all bad because I know there was a I mean I don't know I'm a I'm, a, I'm kind of a dyed in a wool uh, Republican guy but um he, he wasn't all bad he wasn't all bad um you know, you could say, I, I noticed that umpteen things you could say bad about him, but I could say the same thing about the Republicans. Now, we'll see if Donald's legit, man. If He's he's the first guy I've seen that upset the apple cart the way anybody's done. I mean, we'll see if it's all talk or what. I kind of hope it ain't all talk. If, uh, and, uh, you know, maybe Donald's going to need a little of uh, extra help, too, from the outside on the opposite side of the aisle. And, you know, maybe by forgiving Bill Clinton, and not forgiving her, maybe that will be the thing that needs to be done. I don't know, because sometimes you got to compromise. Um, and that's just the way it is, because she's done. Because, uh, you know, all that money that went to her, it's it's up there in smoke. And, you know, they're looking for somebody to take the fall. It looks like it's her for sure, because she's number one on the radar. And the Clinton Foundation's going down. And uh, Bill's going to have to look for a new source of income other than, uh, you know, talking to silver tongue devil talk. But, you know, he's, like I said, you know, the Bill Clinton uh, intern eatery uh, restaurant foundation, uh, what the hell? I mean, that'd be pretty cool. That's kind of like right up Bill Clinton's alley for sure. Anyway, over that.